What it do YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. And it has been a minute, but we finally have something to talk about. But I'm not going to ramble on about that. I do want to say friendly reminder: if you guys are new to the channel, make sure that you guys click that sub button and that bell to be notified on all of my future content. And I will try to become on a more consistent schedule uh, throughout the you know in the future. But thank you guys for the continued support and making sure that you guys have been checking out the rest of my content you know i've seen some new subscribers pop through so welcome but <clears throat> excuse me frog in my throat but today we are talking about call of duty modern warfare now not to be accused, uh confused with call of duty 4 modern warfare not at all this is actually a reboot and i and when i saw that i was i was kind of like wow that's that's a different step for Call of Duty. They do it in movies all the time, but uh, uh, this is this is kind of like a first. Well, well, not really a first, but but it's not something I thought they would do with Call of Duty. Let's just say that it's definitely not something I thought they would do. But well, guys, we're gonna start with the main bullet points, and then we're gonna start talking about the things that I think are very cool about it that we have learned. So, very important things. This is everything that you guys know. This is all the information we currently have. Now, one. There will be no specialist. I wanted to bring this up first because a lot of people are already on that fuck Call of Duty wave. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people won't watch this video based on the fact that it's about Call of Duty in the first place. Everybody thinks Call of Duty's dead, which is a great point. And I almost would say the same thing. This game will have to do a lot, and it has done a lot in the marketing department to make it really hard to not give it a chance so that's kind of what i'm doing and that's kind of the positive uh, outlook i'm looking at it as as they have bent over backwards to make it known that they they're still here you know what i mean uh so very happy about that very excited to see uh, even the call of duty competitive scene go back to its roots where it's just bare bones you know you versus the opponent gunfights no other bullshit just that 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 literally excites me i i i have not been so excited to see call of duty played on a professional level in years based on specialist and now i have that joy back and i cannot wait to see the teams go at it like back in the day um <clears throat> another really good point is the fact that there will be crossplay now First things first, crossplay is going to be the uh, PC and console versions will both respectively be able to p play with each other. And then they should link up later on. Consoles will be able to play with each other as well. That's going to be very cool. Now, I'm almost positive there won't be a Battle Royale mode. I'm not positive about that yet. I haven't heard very much information on it. In fact, if you've had information on it that I've missed, make sure you guys post that in the comment section below. I personally don't know if it's a good idea, but we won't talk about that in this video. That's for another video at a later date. But along with that awesome news about crossplay, we also have completely free DLC. They take a note from uh, their uh, biggest competitor, I would say, which is, uh, or at least in the first person shooter genre, they take an ode from that and they go with the completely free to play you know uh post content i think that that's one of the smartest moves you can do in video games at the current moment uh this is based on the fact that like w everybody is so over and even when it came to the black ops past you know it, it really became apparent everybody's so over the whole like oh i have to pay to play with my friends type of thing because you know there's always you, you know it, it, say you have a friend group of three people usually one of those guys gets the black ops pass and so he's got it you can't play with him because he's playing on the new maps you got to give you got to play the new maps or you get roped into the awkward situation which is the black ops pass where you literally have to pay for the black ops pass which is every piece of content even though the game does get stale towards the end of the year and you really don't want those maps to be honest so uh i'm glad they scrapped that whole business model in general we've seen nothing about uh supply drops so i don't know how they're going to make their money back maybe this is an ode to fans and they're just going to be like oh hey this is for you guys don't worry about it you know we have your shit ton of money because they do and and with these these types of things i think they're taking a gamble i think that they think that if all the content's free if the game is cross play everybody on every console is pretty gonna want is pretty much gonna want to have this game and i definitely think that, that is a very big selling point is the fact that not only can i play with any friends on any console but i also uh 
don't have to pay for any post post launch content that's that's exciting it makes everything every content drop it makes everything more exciting and it really does feel like they're giving back to the fans and i'm really excited about this uh i'm probably more excited about this than most things now i still am very excited about borderlands 3 uh of course and i'm still very excited about 2k20 uh, more things are going to be coming on those later on this uh, this this year, guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And I'll be bringing more Call of Duty news as I find it, because you guys know if you guys have been around the channel for a while, you guys know that I love Call of Duty. It's one of my favorite things to play, and it's one of the first things I played on the channel for you guys. Uh, I probably won't do the live commentaries this year, but I'll make sure you guys stay up to date on news and things like that, especially about the game. Uh, if you guys are as hype as I am about this game, make sure you guys spam that like button as well as. Stay tuned, guys, because I have a, I definitely have a giveaway. I'm not sure how I want to do the giveaway yet uh, when it comes to the Call of Duty. I, I don't know how I want to do the giveaway yet, but make sure you guys stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.